Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And now on my road trip here in Geneva, I am at Vacheron Constantin and uh, sitting with me is Christian Salmoni. Christian, or Christian in French, Christian in English. Salmoni is, uh, has joined Vacheron Constantin 31 years ago. And today we're going to talk about a watch that had its debut in the 1920s. <music> Subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Fasten your seatbelt for something new. We offer you the chance to win a priceless experience. New subscribers with an activated notification can win a watch manufacturer trip to Switzerland. Together with our partner from Togo, we give away 10 all-inclusive trips worth a total of 50,000 Swiss francs. More details on watchadvisor.com. Furthermore, register there to double your chances to win. See you soon in Switzerland. Hello, Alexander. It's great to have you here in uh, at Vachon Constantin. Thank you so much for coming. We yeah. really appreciate. And um, as you are mentioning, this year is a special year for us because we are going to celebrate a very important anniversary for us. This is the 100th anniversary of the American 1921. So maybe we have Alexander to jump back to the 100 years ago. And of course, you remember of the Roaring Twenties, this f fabulous era right after the First World War, in which it was a, an era of freedom, creativity, and kind of extravaganza as well. And in this context, Vachon Constantin presented between 1919 and 1921, this fantastic timepiece, which is the so-called American 1921. So um, this is for me the, the perfect example of Vachon Constantin's classic with a twist, because we have a very beautiful cushion shape, carré cambré case, cushion shape, round opening, nice, nice little lugs. And it's a typical example of the style of the, of the early 20s. However, we see that the crown is off-centered. The crown is, depending on the models, at 11 o'clock or, or at 1 o'clock. And so there are quite a lot of um, discussions about this originality. For some, um, this is a very early driver's watch, <clears throat> which we, we can understand. But there is also a kind of legend behind the American 1921, which is the preacher's watch. So it's good to know that according to our archive, we, we have uh, delivered two models of the American 1921 to a famous American preacher whose name was Samuel Parks Cadman. And Mr. Cadman became very famous in the, in the USA as he was a pioneer in the broadcasting uh, sermons with radio. So he could uh, have uh, millions of auditors all across America. So he bought a couple of the American 1921 and the legend... He, did he buy those watches in Switzerland? Yes, he, ah, went, okay. he went to Switzerland and he bought uh, two of the species in Geneva. And uh, the legend is that while he was doing the preaches, he could discreetly, when he, when, he, when he had his hand in front of him, he could discreetly look at the time on his American 1931. So that's the nice story behind, behind, behind the I model. love it. It's yeah. nice. So we did, um, a, we did a total of 36 uh, examples between 1919 and 1928. And uh, we have decided to, uh, to revamp, to recreate, to redesign the American 1921 in 2008. And so we came with this model that I have the pleasure to wear on my wrist, which is a 40 millimeter model, which is so slightly larger than the original one, crafted in a rose gold and uh, respecting very much the, you know, the classic with a twist spirit of the watch from, from the 20s. Let me ask you yeah. a question. Why did you choose to put the crown on the right side? You said that there were models in between 1919 and the 1920, left and right. Yeah. So, so we don't know why, or is it not specified? Uh, no, no. In fact, in our archives, we have, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting to, to mention it. We have a sketch in which the, the watch is shown with the crown at one o'clock. But we know that uh, we made also watches with the crown at 11 o'clock, like I told you. 
So we have no pure, pure explanation. But you stayed then this. loyal to the archives. By the way, I'm laying here. It's uh, just here beside me. Also, is this the real archive? Ah, it is. That it is. It's and not a copy or it's not. It's not. So, this so we <laughs> took, especially for you, Alexander, we took our archive book to show it to you. This is incredible. This Great. is his pure history. It's, it's, you it know, is. Tons of history coming out here. Yeah. <laughs> the and brand is really mm, filled if, up. If I look to, to this book here, I see that it says carré cambré, so cushion shape, yes. round opening, crown adjusted to the angle. And it says uh, to the left angle because there is a, a, sm a small... But angle. it's written in French. It's written in French. Can you read it out in French for our audience? Yes. <laughs> <coughs> carré cambré, ouverture ronde, cercle agrandissant, couronne ajustée à l'angle. To come back to the 2008 model, so we decided that they have, they, we, we had discussions about should we put the crown at, at 11 o'clock or should we put the crown at 1 o'clock. And finally, we decided to put it at 1 o'clock because it made more sense while you are wearing the watch on your wrist. And in most cases, you, you look at, at the time like that. So we have mixed a bit the model from 1919 and 1921. Are you interested in the Swiss watch industry? Check out Fontobel's latest Swiss watch industry outlook on fontobel.com slash watches. As we are celebrating the 100th anniversary of the American 1921, we have the pleasure to show you, Alexander, the three novelties that we, we, we prepared. And um, let's start with them, if you, if, you, if you allow me. That's why I'm so, here. So um, we are presenting the American 1921 model Large size in white gold. Large yes. size means? 40 millimeter. 40 millimeter. And we have also the smaller model, 36.5 millimeter, both in, uh, in white gold. And uh, we have decided to, uh, to use, uh, let's say, light gray or dark silver kind of a dial because we wanted to accentuate the monochrome aspect of the timepiece. In other words, we wanted to bring a kind of... Uh, yeah, understated modernity in the design of the timepiece. So I think it's, it creates a great combination and it, uh, it enhances the beauty of the aesthetic of the American 1921. So we have both models here in white gold with a light gray dial and um, painted Arabic numerals. And on both models, we are using our caliber 4400. So the 4400 is our, if I may say, our workhorse when we speak about uh, manual winding movements. So it's 28.5 millimeter diameter. We have a three days of power reserve. It's a Geneva Hallmark uh, construction. And it does super well the job. And uh, we have decided to implement it in, in both models. It's a very noble workhorse. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very noble Under the robot. definition workhorse, you imagine something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, no, I, and of course, I understand. But I, I, have I, agree, to add, I agree with you, yeah. Uh, the way you finish all surfaces, oh, sure. all it's blades, all, you, all the angles, and uh, if it's a Ponson Genève, yeah. you have to, then it's a very noble It's work. a very nice workhorse, very noble workhorse. You are <laughs> totally right. Thank you for, for adding this comment. And so, uh, so these, these are the two models that we are, we are printing for the celebration, so they will be not limited. However, we have the, the cherry on the cake, if I may say, which is this very special uh, limited edition of 100 pieces to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the American 21. And um, this is uh, what we call the Platinum Excellence Collection, Collection Excellence Platine in French, in which we are offering a um, few limited editions in which we are using as much as possible the most noble metal uh, existing, which is platinum. So not only the platinum is used for the case, but also, and it's very interesting, for the dial. So we have a dial which is made of a plate of platinum 950, which is very finely sandblasted, and there is no protection on it, no, no varnish, no anything, because we don't need to put anything on uh, on the platinum because it's, uh, it doesn't oxidize. And then we have uh, 18 karat gold, white gold, uh, Arabic numerals. We were not able to do them in platinum for technical reasons. It's, uh, it's hard, not hard enough. And uh, we have, um, we have so a beautiful combination of, uh, let's say, matte finish on the surface and shiny, mm -hmm. shiny Arabic numerals. 
Little things in addition, so the stitches on the bracelet are a combination of platinum and silk. And uh, obviously the buckle is in platinum. So 100 uh, timepieces for to celebrate this anniversary. And um, people who know this collection do also call it la collection double poids or double weight because okay. if you have this watch in your hands you will really feel a difference. It's heavy. It's a heavy watch, platinum, yep. and compared to white gold, when you when you get both in your hands, it's really a difference you can feel. Yeah. Collection double poids. <laughs> this is always the case with platinum, as yeah. well. Platinum is, is quite heavy. It, it's, it's just very when, dense. It's just when the well. first time. It's about, yep. it, when the first time when you take both watches yep. and you have a and you you feel them, the you, really, you yeah. really feel that uh, yeah, that's an important <clears throat> difference. Okay, so so Alexander, this is it for for the, the celebration of the American 1921. It's, it's funny that you bring exactly this watch this year because we're all hoping, of course, that uh, we're getting rid of COVID finally and uh, we are getting back to normality. And it could be, since many say this, or I've been reading this a couple of times, that we go back to an area of the 1920s party area where people uh, yeah, uh, catch up what they have uh, missed the last uh, one and a half, almost two years now. That could be uh, great. That could be nice. Huh? Yeah. And you launched the watch that was standing for this area, for this spirit of a fun, party, easygoing, being creative. Yeah. And you launched a watch that maybe could be the COVID release watch. <laughs> that never um, shown. It, the time. It, it would be great to have a revival of the Roaring Twenties oh, yeah. 100 years after. Yeah, yeah. let's for, go for, for it. For different huh? reasons. That let's, let's pray for it. Yeah, definitely. Let's go for it. And let's celebrate this together, if it's yeah. it right. We, we do, we okay. do. But it's the perfect watch. I was just thinking when, uh, yeah, Christian, when you were explaining me this, I, I said, this is uh, funny that you come out with the watch at that spe specific moment where, uh, yeah, we're just waiting to get yes. released. Very much. Vaccinated, very released, uh, COVID disappears, bye-bye COVID, and then we have mm. fun again. We meet, yeah. make party, go. could I, be a good idea. What can I say more, Alexander? I <laughs> fully agree with you. Christian Salmoni, Vachon Constantin, thank you very much. My pleasure. Yeah. Um, we continue our journey. Stay tuned. Uh, Geneva is the place where we are, actually. Life, as I told you. Analog. We yeah. sit. We sit. He is not uh, being... Uh, I'm not a hologram. Yeah, no. he's not a hologram. He's real. I'm real one. <laughs> uh, stay tuned on Watch Advisor and on YouTube. And see you soon back here. Hey, have you packed your luggage? If not, do so. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. You will get the chance to win your exclusive trip to Switzerland.